to do is to we have to boil the um, tomatoes so in this case i'm using green tomatoes because um it's easy to get them here so you can make two different types of um salsa it's green and red work you can make a lot of different kinds of salsa so what i did beforehand was um boil this so here it is and once it's like another type of green i don't know if you can see it have that. we're gonna take that into our um i forgot the name of this <laughs> the thing that mixes oh the blender <laughs> so you put all the tomatoes in the blender and you're gonna put um, the tomatoes or green tomatoes if you have them into the blender. Can you use red without the water? Can you use red tomatoes if you have to? Yeah, if you want to, you could use them. I use green tomatoes because I prefer like green sauce. So yeah, but if you want to do like red sauce or anything, you can always use um, red tomatoes. It's, I think it's easier to find those in Canada than green tomatoes. I've never found any green <laughs> there, I think. I had green tomatoes at the but, end well, of the summer in, on, my, on my plants. I should have just picked the green ones then and been ready, Melissa. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a little bit more green down, like a lighter green than they were. But if you just let them there like boil, like 15 minutes, you will be good to go. So to make the salsa, you will need the tomatoes boiled, then you're gonna take a... Uh, even just one quarter, quarter. So I have it over here and I'm just gonna put it in there. Okay, so I have the onion and I'll put it in the blender. Tomatoes and the onion. So once you have this, you're gonna add, if you want to, you could add some cilantro. So those are just hot tomatoes. So I think I have some. Yeah, they're just like, I just boiled them in, in water and I put them in here with some onion. And then if you chop some um, some cilantro and you like if you if you like cilantro, you can put some cilantro on it. So I'm just gonna but I think I don't have cilantro. Oh yeah, I have. So I'm just gonna put some cilantro in here. Love cilantro. And then with um it depends on how spicy you like it so i'm gonna put like two to three jalapenos but i can open this <laughs> i don't know where my mom went she was going to help me and she was like <laughs> oh he's just coming Ma. okay so my mom is gonna chop two jalapenos And while she does that, I have the jalapenos over here. I'm gonna put the soft tortillas into the pan so they're not like really hard, I think. So yeah, I'm just gonna put them into the... Um, it already has a lot on. Oh. Okay, so my mom's gonna put that into the... with water. some water here. And then, so while she's doing that, I'm just gonna put the tortillas in here with some um, oil. So if you have some oil, if you want to use pan, it's fine. Just to... Well, I'll show you the... Oh, give us a little wave past your mom. Can we see your mom? Hi. 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 Nice to see you. Well, that was my mom helping me and then she was like um is this going to be recorded i'm like yeah and we're gonna post it on youtube and she's like uh <laughs> like i'm still wearing pajamas and really she'll be famous you'll both be famous yeah 
Okay, so I put some oil in here and well, it starts like getting kind of hot. Um, we'll need to put the, the sauce to boil again. With a little bit of with pepper. some pepper and yeah, you just have to let it get like like boil. And in the meantime, I'm going to put the tortillas into the pan with some oil. That way they're gonna be easier to like handle. So I'm going to put one over there. You just let it like get some somehow hot. Did you make them tortillas? No, I bought them. <laughs> they look homemade, so <laughs> no, they're like it's super easy to get tortillas here because. Like, if you go to, like, a corner store or, like, anywhere, honestly, you're going to find tortillas. So, it's really easy to to buy them here. So, once you have it, you just have to put it into your plate. And then I'm going to put another one. So I put two options into the website. You could either do um, like vegetarian ones, you could put some um, vegetables in it, or you could put cheese. So I'm gonna put cheese instead of um, chicken. So I'm just gonna put the cheese here. And you just have to, you could do it either like a, taco like this and roll it or you could let it like it was but I'm gonna roll it and then I'm gonna continue with the other tortilla so if you want to make them of chicken or you could always use I think you can also use beef so if you put the chicken to boil with water then it gets like easier to handle and you just have to Put it like in there. You just have to boil it with um, with some water and salt, and that onion. should an onion. Gar Gar uh, I thought it was just with salt, but my mom's telling me that you need to boil it with onion, garlic, and salt. And once it's done, um, you just have to put it into the tortillas, and that's another way of making like enchiladas. So I have the second one. I'm gonna put it here, and I'm gonna use this one. And I'm gonna put some more cheese into this. What kind of cheese are you using? My, um, I don't know if it exists like in Canada, like it may exist, but the name here it's Oaxaca. Like, I don't know if there's like a, but it could be really any type of cheese. I think I've never found this type of cheese over there, but you could use, um, um, any type of cheese, honestly. I think there's like a goodies a, at goodies at George. They sell this type of uh, cheese. I don't know if, it, if that's still open. But yeah. So once you have this, I'm just gonna let this to be really ready. And then you put some more cheese <laughs> into it and you can do the same thing. You can just roll it. And once this is done, we're just gonna wait for the sauce to be boiled and it is almost ready. So just to like, it sometimes gets like really, like the sauce, it's really hot. So what we usually do is we put sour cream to it so um you just let your yeah you put a lot of jalapeno you, you put a lot of jalapenos in there melissa yeah i don't know if i'm gonna be able to eat it but yeah i was a bit nervous i was starting to sweat a little bit 
But yeah, um, I'm just gonna wait for the sauce. I think it's ready, right, Ma? It looks amazing. Hey, Melissa, uh, I grew hot peppers this summer in my garden, and they are so hot. We grew habaneros, and we grew, I don't know, some kind of like other named one that was very brutally hot, and you just touch, like touch it on your tongue, and oh, it's crazy. It was really hot? Really yeah, the, the oven there, it's really hot, like really, really hot. I Like there are some types of salsas or, or like sauces called um, with mango. So it's habanero and mango and they are so good, but it's like super spicy. So I usually put just a little bit of it, not to get like hot. Yeah, and then I had too many because the, the I had two plants, but the two plants produced probably like I want to say a hundred peppers. Like there were so many little peppers all over these two plants. So I was trying to freeze them. So I put gloves on to chop them because we were all coughing. Yeah. We were coughing in the house, just chopping them. And then I put some in the oven to roast them. And then that made more hot and the whole kitchen was like, <laughs> oh. Yeah, when, like when you start cooking them, it starts getting like hot. You, if you Even if you breathe it, it's like spicy, but yeah, I I used to love spicy, but now like I think because I stopped eating a lot of spicy things, I can't handle it as much. You gotta work it back in, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so now this is done, and I, you just have to put it into your enchiladas. Oh, and that's making me hungry. Mm. And now I'm just gonna put some sour cream into it. It's like my favorite meal. And because we love cheese, you could put more cheese into this on top. You could either put like um, feta or something else, like whatever you want. And my mom's putting some onions to decorate. I like it. And this would be your tortilla. Their tortillas, your enchiladas. Yum. So you could either make them um, vegetarian or you could use like other things to make them um, easier to eat. Or you could use chicken or whatever you want. You made something like that last year in the college, didn't you? Yeah, I think we made, um, instead of enchiladas, we made tacos dorados, which is like, um, you, it's basically kind of the same, but you need to, first you do the tortillas. Oh, let me, first you do like, you, you use kind of the same ingredients, but um, the, when you do like the rolls with the tortillas and the, whatever you put inside, you need to fry the tacos. So you put them on oil and you fry them. And then on top you could use sour cream and put some salsa on it, or like you can also put some lettuce and anything. Uh -huh. And that would be another way of like doing, like we use the same ingredients for lots of different re recipes. Like you can also make something called um, chilaquiles, which people hear um, once you have like your, like if you go to a party or you, go out somewhere the next day on the morning you eat something called chilaquiles if you my mom says if you are hungover so <laughs> does it work so you go and eat your chilaquiles in the morning or also like because parties end here like really late so it's like 5 a.m or 6 a.m and people like at parties give chilaquiles in the morning so it's basically the same you just have instead of using like the tortillas you buy chips. I think I have some here because I made some last week. So you buy like chips, like this ones, and you put some like the sauce on it. You put like you could put um egg, like a fried egg, or you could use some chicken. You put just um, sour cream and cheese, and those are your chilaquiles. So we use the same ingredients for lots of food, but they they taste different. I don't know why. No, oh, I get that. I am um, like my one of my family's favorite meals is like basically all the things you're describing, but you build your own, right? So 
corn or flour tortillas and then we have yeah. two kinds of salsa and we have cheese and sour cream and some people like refried beans and some people like meat and chicken or beef and then we just build our own so we we also use a lot of beans but i like i think they're on the fridge so i didn't take them out but usually you eat like your chilaquiles or your um enchiladas with some beans so yeah that's like if you go out to a restaurant or something that's like a basic meal they have in every restaurant so it's it's really good honestly yeah so what i'm gonna do right now is oh sir you were gonna say something i was gonna tell Brittany that we had a big plan to move the college to mexico for the winter break <laughs> we were like why are we working here from home when we could be at melissa's house working there from home that sounds amazing i, I am supportive of that <laughs> <laughs> So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to make the horchata. So um, I you just have to use the rice we needed. So I put one half of rice and let it like in, in water for just one night. So I put it yesterday at night in the water. And then, um, with the same water, you just have to put it into the blender. So this is something you would drink if you were to, like, also in the morning, at night, or anything you want. So I'm putting now the rice. I'm very intrigued by this. I don't know what this is. Like, this is so unusual to me. I think I've had something similar in Peru, except it's made from corn. More, and they do it in Peru too, Brittany? Yeah, in Peru they make it out of corn, and it's more fermented corn, um, and it's like bright purple when you drink it, which is interesting, because in, in Canada you think of corn as being yellow, but in Peru it's pr often purple, and it actually it tastes really good. It kind of tastes like, it's going to sound weird, but it kind of tastes like um, toothpaste, but like in a good way. <laughs> You know that tri-colored toothpaste used to have as like a kid or when you were younger? It kind of tastes like that, but in a good way, not in a bad way. <laughs> okay. So now um, you're going to take the vanilla extract and you're going to put one tablespoon. So that was just cold water that soaked overnight or cold rice that soaked overnight? Yeah. Okay. So I'm just going to put the... Cinnamon. And now I'm going to put some cinnamon. This looks so delicious. Yeah, I'm really interested by this. I'm going to try this. And I forgot the sugar. So I'm, oh, I'm going to put some sugar in here. So. Okay. And now there are two options. You could use it like that. You could put some milk or you could use evaporated milk. No, evaporated or condensate? No, evaporated. evaporated milk. Yeah. So um, you could put either any of those or you could also drink it like this. It's better if you put milk or the evaporated milk. So if you have one can of evaporated milk, you could just use half of it. And if you have um, just regular milk, you're gonna have to put, how much milk? A half of, half <laughs> You're gonna have to put half of a cup, I think. So give me one second. That makes sense. Okay, so my mom <laughs> put it really fast so we couldn't see. That's yeah, a mom, that's that's a mom thing, you just, quick pour, that's a mom thing, you don't measure. Yeah, I was just changing the camera, but she didn't let me. Okay, so she put like about half of a cup of on it, and now we're just gonna blend it. The rice. Okay, so with this done, you just have to take a glass of water. Uh, no, not a glass of water, just a glass. 
Do you have to pour it in here? And if you want to decorate it because you're gonna use it or oh that's nice. You can put some like a stick of cinnamon in there and some more cinnamon. And this is like your horchata water. So I'm gonna put this here together and this is what you would have as a breakfast or even as a meal here in Mexico. Yum. Your enchiladas and your water made of horchata. So good. I, I've never heard of a rice water drink like that, but I did think, oh, that is kind of like the ingredients for rice pudding, but just no eggs and no, yeah. No raisins, yeah. I guess. Oh, yeah, we, we don't put egg, egg on it because it's like just to drink it. But um, we also do it with um, oats. So we do like an oat water. It's just, it's exactly the same. The only difference is that instead of rice, you use like the oatmeal. And yeah, it's also really good. So the rice was just water overnight and you just popped it in. Yeah, that's wow. the only thing you have to do. Yeah. And it's right. So I think it's. Regular yeah, it's regular water. water. Yeah, I think I put like a lot of water in this one, but if you put just like half of the water, you let it simmer on, you should be good because it tastes it like it tastes better if it's with milk than it it tastes better if you use more condensed milk and like the rice if you than if you use just like regular milk and water. So I've got evaporated milk at home, and I'm gonna try this tonight. Yeah, you should try it. And if you try it, send me a picture of I it. I will. I will. Yeah, awesome. and you, you let me know how it tastes. Like, it's really easy and it, it's not something you need to buy. Like, it's things mm -hmm. that we regularly have in our kitchen and everything. So it's not that difficult. Too. Yeah, I have all that stuff. I even have cinnamon sticks. So I'm going to take a picture. Yeah. Yeah, you let me know how it I will. Okay, I have to go to another thing, Melissa. It was really great to see you and your mom. And that looks delicious. And I'm going to put a post on my Instagram for that. Um, and we will talk to you soon. But I got to go. Okay, bye. Thank you. Bye.